let us now analyze the refraction through a trihedral prism. Trihedral prism is the fundamental kind of prism if we are able to understand. The refraction of a light through a trihedral prism you will be able to apply it in any kind of prism. Say if this ABC is the cross section of a trihedral prism in which the bottom face BC we term as a base of prism and the two surfaces through which the light ray is refracted these are AB and AC. These are termed as matte surfaces. Of prism. Say when a light ray is incident onto a matte surface AB, where we can draw a normal N1, and if this is the angle of incidence I onto the face AB at which the light ray is incident, if the prism is made up of a material having refractive index mu, it is deviated towards normal at an angle of refraction R1. Which will incident on the other face where if we draw a normal N2, and here if the angle incident is R2, then finally the light will emerge out with a deviation away from normal because light is going from a denser medium to a rarer medium, and this angle we define as E, which is termed as angle of emergence. Now, in this situation, at both the points where the refraction of light is taking place, we can use Snell's law. So here we can write by Snell's law at faces A, B, and A, C. Here we can write at the face A, B outside medium is air, which has refractive index one. We can write. One multiplied by sine i is equals to mu multiplied by sine r one, and on the other face we can write sine e is equals to mu sine r two. Now this is an important relation for prism analysis. We say we name it as equation number one, and here we can also relate this vertex angle of the prism, which is also called. Prism angle or refracting angle of prism with the the other angles in the situation here we can see as these are normals to the face AB and AC. Here we can say if these points are named as D, E, and F. Then this quad A D E F would be a cyclic quad because these two dotted lines are the normal to the faces A B and A C. So here we can write in cyclic quadrilateral A D E F. We use here in this situation we can write the sum of angle A and E must be. Pi, so it is angle A plus angle E must be pi, and for angle E in triangle DEF you can write in triangle DEF we have R one plus R two plus E is equals to pi. Then if we subtract these two equation here, you can see if this equation A, this equation B. On subtracting the two equations, you will be getting a minus r one minus r two is zero, or we can write a is equals to r one plus r two. This is equation number two, which is also extremely useful for analysis of refraction of light through the prism. You should always keep in mind the angles r one and r two, which are The angle made by the refracted ray in the prism with the two normals, the sum of these two angles is equal to prism angle, and Snell's law is applicable always on both the surfaces. So you must keep both of these equations in your mind. In next section, we'll discuss about the division of light ray through the prism.